Hi there, this is the Berliner Baltic and it's a trap in an irregular line of the Baltic defence. It's from the game Berliner against Rot in Montreal, Canada 1956. So D4 and D5, White plays the Queen's Gambit with C4 and rather than uh, accept or decline with the Orthodox or with the Slav, Black tries the rare and perhaps slightly dubious knight f6. Dubious because it allows white to capture on d5 and after the recapture, white gains time by hitting the knight with e4. The knight drops back to b6 after knight c3 and knight c6 and knight f3. Now bishop g4 is played. Perhaps this isn't uh, a Baltic defence at all. The Baltic defence usually involves uh, the bishop coming out to f5 against a queen's gambit type of opening so here it's very irregular white can push on now aggressively with d5 hitting the knight on c6 which thinks it might be able to aggressively jump to e5 putting pressure on that pinned knight on f3 but that is not the case the move knight e5 was a, uh, a losing blunder because now white can simply take the knight on e5 happily giving up the queen on d1 because after bishop takes on d1 now white's going to win after bishop b5 check white's going to have to interpose with the c pawn he's not going to drop the knight back to d7 where it'll just get taken and black will drop the queen so after c6 d takes on c6 threatens a discovered check by pushing the pawn to c7 or by taking on b7. In the game itself, in this lost position, Berliner played queen b8. I went on to lose in two moves. If a6 would have been played, hitting the bishop, then white would simply win with c7 check, picking up the queen. In the game itself, Berliner against Rot. Rot played queen b8 and after c7 check, the only move is to drop the knight back to d7 and bishop takes d7, it's checkmate. This has been the Berliner Baltic in an irregular line of the Baltic defence. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.